Game Night! Date Night! Tonight on Game Night, Date Night, Nikki and me, Lincoln, are going to teach and show you to play Babylonia, a two to four player game designed by Reiner Knizia and published by Ludanova. Let's head on down to the Fertile Delta. Welcome to Game Night, Date Night. Tonight, Lincoln and I are going to teach you how to play Babylonia. This game takes place in the Neo-Babylonian era of 605 to 562 BC during the time of Nebuchadnezzar II. This is a time of splendor and wealth due to the many trade routes and agriculture um, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. So Lincoln, why don't you tell us how to play the game? Sure, this is a relatively simple game where we're only gonna do three things each round that gets a little bit more complicated as your network of influence grows. On your turn, you're gonna do three things. You're gonna play some of your clan tokens, two nobles or three or more farmers. You're gonna score the cities that you surround and the ziggurats that you place near. And then you're gonna fill your hand back up to five tokens. When I said that you would place two or three clan tokens, what I mean is there are two different types of tokens. You have nobles and farmers. And there are actually three different types of nobles. You have civil servants, priests, and merchants. When you decide to place nobles, you don't have to necessarily play two. You can play one noble and one farmer. But if you're going to have a noble in that, you can only place two tokens. When you place farmers, you need to place three or more farmers. You're placing them. You can place them wherever you wish. Nobles don't have to be. You can do two. They don't need to be next to each other. You can do farmers, and they don't need to be next to each other. But if you decide to claim a farm, you will have to place, you'll have to have a token, whether it's a, a farmer or a noble adjacent to the farm tile that you plan to take. So here I could take this one and take this. I'll explain what these, how these score in a moment. When you do place around cities though, you are trying to vie for the most influence of that area, the number of tokens that you have, clan tokens. So they don't have to be all nobles to have influence around this city, let's say, for example, here there's four different spaces on this one because we have these river tiles here that have the little wavy water that shows that those are water tiles. You can place on those spots, but they will not be face up. So if you decide to place a noble, you will have to place it face down, and then that noble will not have influence on that city. And the reason why that is important is each of these cities have two, one or two different types of influence that count for that city. For example, this one here has merchants and civil servants. When we fully surround it, again, it might only be just four of them, you then look at how many of each type that you have surrounding that when it's scored. You'll get two points for every token that matches that tile. And it's not just the surrounding tiles extends to other tiles that you have as long as you can make a connection with other clan tiles where it's not broken. So you'd have these coming out and for example here now I've got two merchants and one civil servant so that would score me six points. Then I would leave all those tokens and then I take this tile. When that is done all the players score their city tiles. All so right. you'll get one point for each city tile that you have in front of you. Right now I only have one, so I'd gain one extra point. So that would be six points plus one point for that city tile. If Nikki had nobles here, do you have a couple nobles sure. that match? Yes, there's two. If Nikki, now, in this case, this would be bad. <laughs> because we both have equal influence. So you don't claim that one. All right. Because it is now fully surrounded. And also you don't have that connection. Correct. Right, I don't. This would actually not be great. You'd need to have one more influence tile out in the river before this is surrounded. Mm -hmm. We would each get two points for each noble that type that we have. Nikki has a civil servant and a merchant, and I have a civil servant and a merchant, but I have three. My other merchant is separated from this because of this tile, so I would get four points, Nikki would get four points, plus I'd get the additional point for having the city, for being having the most influence on that city. And you would take that tile. Correct. The other thing is, is when you place near ziggurats. Now, I had conveniently placed near a ziggurat there, so if I it would have been earlier. But when you do that, again, these don't necessarily count unless you decide to place there. But you get one point for every ziggurat you have tiles around. At this point, I only have one. 
But if I had another tile down here, I would score two points for placing a ziggurat there. Okay. So you, the most you're going to get in this board is three because we are playing a two-player game. So we have the north, the central, and the southern parts of the area. And we, in a two-player game, we play the north and the central. In a three-player game, you play the south and the central. And in a four-player game with all three of these. So all of these are unoccupied in our game. When you have the ziggurat completely surrounded, you will score. Again, in this game, we'll only have a maximum of three points that you can get. You also get to claim one of these ziggurat tiles. They are pretty powerful. They each have different powers that sort of break the rules. The very first one is very simple. It's just an additional 10 points. And it's a one time. And you can Correct. see that it's yep. one time or, it, or yep. an infinite. Yeah, you can just keep using them whenever you need it. This one here is you get a complete additional turn. So you do the, you draw back up to five, you place three, two to three, and then that's your turn. And you score those and that's your turn. This one allows you to have seven clan tokens in your stand here, your hand. This one lets you place, instead of two nobles, three nobles, but they have to be three different nobles. So it's probably to prevent you from having too much influence, right? But it's still pretty powerful because placing three is a lot of influence. Yeah. This one here is you place three farmers and an additional noble, one of, uh, one of e any of these three types. This one here allows you to use a noble to claim a farmland, mm. and you don't have to have the adjacency rule. So you can, once you have that, you can just place a noble and take it and score the points. Oh my goodness. It doesn't need to be adjacent to another one of your clan tiles. This one here is when you score cities, you get an additional point for every two that you have in front of you. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah, definitely. You really need to pay attention to the chains though. So sometimes you're gonna make that connection across the water and you might wanna take a city tile, a space where a city tile was to help make that connection again, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, your blue ones are separated, but if you wanted to, to make this to connect, you need to place this to make this connection to this city, right? Although this doesn't need to have um, civil servants, but if you right. had priests here, that would be important. But making that, keeping that tied together really ramps up your scoring on these cities as you go around. Now let me tell you how the farm score. The reason why I held off on that is because these tiles will score cities as well, but they score only for you, and you score all of the city tiles that are on the board, counting your opponents. Oh my goodness. So that's powerful and probably would be later in the game because, as I said, we both score when we score cities. You only score when you place ziggurats, around ziggurats, but again, as long as you have one near each one, you'll score a little bit more points for placing your ziggurats. And of course, the clan tokens will be in that position, so that helps continue your connection between cities. These just score you five, six, or seven points. All right. And that is basically it. The game ends when one player has no tiles left in their stand, or there's either one or no cities left to claim <laughs> on the board. All right. So it'll crowd up pretty quickly, and you probably need to worry about crossing the rivers. Uh, to make sure you can keep your connections of your clan tokens to uh, optimize your scoring, give you the most chance to score. And Nikki, why don't you start? Okay, let's clean this up yeah, first. Yeah, clean my mess up here. I pulled off a bunch of can tiles. Can start with an advantage. Me? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. going to need it since I'm going to let you go. So, at the beginning of the game, you can only place one tile. Okay. And then I can place two, only two, and then it goes two or three on your turn. Okay. One, but I pull up five for my tray. Yep. And we put that one goes back, right? Yeah. Here. No, I don't get a, a bonus no, uh, city don't. tile. You're going to win anyway. No, so. I won't. One, two, three. Four, five. Oops, oops, oops. Don't look. So we actually have a few extra tiles that we've taken out. <clears throat> For yeah. uh, our two-player game, there's an additional tile that has three different the three different nobles on it That's that crazy. influence that one, and then others that are similar to the one we have on the board, and then there's also some fa farm tokens that are removed. We have one of each of these five, six, and sevens yes. removed, and four of I think of these farm city farm tiles. So I need to put five in my frame here too. Yeah, you do. 
So you, you can start thinking. So first player. One oh, token. One token. Is there a synergy I can do? Not really. Well, there's... There's synergy up there. Right, and correct. there's... There's um, priests down there. There's merchants. Yeah. There's civil servants. Let's do... There's priests. There's a, a merchant bunch of right here. Yeah. Okay. And I said there were civil servants. So I'm going to do that right there. And okay. I'll do a merchant right here. Okay. Did you draw back up to five? Yes, I did. All right. Well, I did not. Here we go. I'll go here. And... Okay, so you place near a ziggurat, so you score one point for the one clan tile that you have around a ziggurat. Okay. Hmm. Harumph, I say. I will go here. And I'll place another farmer here. And I'll place another farmer here. Okay. So that gives me seven points. Nice. Go ahead. Okay, five, six, seven. All right. Okay. I was going to do a, draw too much a here. fantastic move like that, too. I was going to go heat one, right? Mm -hmm. And then a two. Mm -hmm. And a third farmer here. Cool. So you get five, five. points. Okay. Huh. So I'll put a priest here and a priest here. Mm hmm. And I draw back up to five. Oh, by the way, oh, I scored did. one point for a ziggurat. Now, do you have any others near a ziggurat? No. No, nope, just the one. So one more point. Okay. Let's not forget those. Those are a little harder to remember. I know. And it doesn't affect me at all when you nope. score those. Okay. I will place up here. Uh, that's two points for the ziggurat. Okay. But you're supposed to actually place all of your tokens, but we'll just do that. Okay. Because you got... have one uh, clan token near two different ziggurats. Okay. And then I will place over here. So that's another point. That's uh, another two points. Another two points. Yep. For your One, blue. two, yep. ten. All right. Okay. Well, we've almost taken all the farms that score you points, so I will take this one. <laughs> They're kind of easy to get. Yeah, I know. That gives me six. Lincoln, you are at. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And two more farmers. We should be doing all of them, but um, we're not. It's kind of easy to I'll score do this, as you go. I... And I will do this. All right. So I get two points for the ziggurats. We've completed this city. Mm -hmm. I have two. I have a priest and a civil servant, and you have a priest token. Sure. So you score two points. Yay. And I score four. One, two, three, four. And then you take. Then I take this you, tile. Because you got the influence. And I score an additional point for that city. Sure. But that's why I wanted to be up there, because I figured you were going to finish it sooner. Sure, and I wanted sure. to get... Now, it kind of helps you finish it sooner, but I kind of wanted to get some of your points. Right, right. And I don't know. No, I agree. And I think you're getting close <clears throat> to finishing stuff, some stuff down there, so I need to think about it. That's why I'm down there. Yeah. So, let's put a merchant. There are so many merchants down here. Um... Do this. Mm -hmm. Go over here, and that's another ziggurat. And you score two points. Two. That's my turn. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to do one here and one here. So now we score this city. I have immediately adjacent to this surrounded city because these are all water around it. Mm -hmm. I have two priests. All right. So I will claim this tile, but when you score it, I have an additional priest over here that's connected. Sure. So that gives me six points. Two, four, six. So I take this tile and I have two cities in front of me. So I score two additional points. You have no cities still. So you no don't score cities but still. If you get something, you need to claim one. You're very I, close down there, which I you know. probably should I, do. I'm going to, let's I just. Should get, I wish I could get down there now and I see that that's going to happen. I got to finish this off. Okay. However, I don't have the best tile for the job right at the moment. Can I finish another one off? That would get better for me. No. Oh, boy. Well, let's just do. Okay. And I will put another one here. Okay. Well, that's huge because it connects all of these civil servants mm -hmm. for this city. So this is completely surrounded except for these two, of course, which sure. don't matter unless you want them to. <laughs> so you have two, four, six, eight points for that. Eight points so you for You have this. to score that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You get that tile. Yay. One point for... And it for gives you one additional point. A city. Okay. Okay. Three. I need to draw back up. Three, four, five. Well, I really kind of want, it seems like we're kind of both in our little sort of isolated areas. Yeah. Well, you're so, kind of branching here, yeah, maybe. I, I know. I'm, I'm tr trying to get there, but I'm not there yet. I will place a merchant here and a farmer. Mm -hmm. And that will let me score three points for because there are three cities out you have one and i have two so one two three and it is your turn all right i want <laughs> dang this could be strong if you had better stuff going on i will go one there I will take this one. Cool. Are you out of farmers? No, I'm okay. going to do one more. One more. Well, this gives you three if you take it. Yeah, do that. Okay, so you did two of them. That's going to be a total six points for you. Three for each one because I have two and you have one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you score for my cities on that one too. It's kind of exciting. Okay. I am going to place one tile here and mm -hmm. one tile here, and it is your turn. I think you're planning for the future. I'm trying to. I don't know how well I'm doing, but... Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. I am going to go here. So that scores you two points for the two ziggurats that you're near. Okay. And then again. Another two points. And that's completely surrounded. Yes. So now you get to claim one of these. I'm just going to take the ten, 10 points. points. Okay. So that's a one time only. But I think it's worth it. That's pretty it. great. Although I do think the seven, it would be probably sooner if you wanted to go for it though. Okay. okay. I'm going to place one here. Hmm. And... One here. And it is your turn. I am gonna go here and here. Okay. That finishes that yep. one. So you score for the merchants around there. Yeah. You have two, four, six, eight. Right. All the way connected. So you get eight. And then you get an additional four points, or two points for two. your city, and I get two. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place one here. Ooh, in the water. Yeah. Because I'm going to I'm going to take this one here. Ah, I was like, that influence is fine. Don't worry about it. No. Nope. Boom. Okay. <laughs> so now that city is surrounded. Yes. So you have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, which is going to give you a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. And then I score two, four, four six, six, eight. Nice. Yeah, I'm way behind you though there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then you take this. Yep, and I take that and I score an additional three, and you score two. Okay, it's your turn. All right. I do it? Nope. Boom. There, and let's just, we'll finish that too. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so that one's surrounded. Yes. You're going to score, oh wow, there's no more than that though, but you're going to score eight points for that, so give yourself eight. I am so far behind you. Okay. Okay, so then you claim that uh, token, and then you get three points, and I get three points. Okay. Two, three. Okay. We're getting close, I think, here. Yeah. So I'll place here, and here, and that is your turn. in here mm -hmm. and I'm going to put a farmer over here. Okay, so now you get three points for that because you have okay. three ziggurats. Yep, you have tokens around three ziggurats. Okay. Hmm. Well, we'll do this, and I will do one here, okay? So that one is surrounded now. I have three clan tokens around it. You have one. I score four. You score two, two points. points, so you get yourself two. One, two. And I score two, four, six, eight, ten, ten. twelve. twelve. Nice. Can you 14, go? Yeah. 16, 18 points. Nice. Yeah, it's not going to catch up to you. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I get that token. Mm -hmm. That gives me four more to points. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's yep. Seven, and you get three points. I get 1, 2, 3. Okay. And your turn now. Okay. Nice. Okay, wow, that's huge. So you're going to score 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 points. Okay. So go ahead and do it. Just go to 105 and then go one more. Okay. And then you get four points and I get four points. Wow, I think the game is over for me. Yep. Okay. I will place one of these and we're getting close because there's only a couple of these left. Right. And I will place one here. And I have the most clan tokens around there. So I will score two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, mm -hmm. 14, 16, 18. That's not connected. So 18 points. So go to, so go to 85, 92. All right. Okay. And we score cities. Yeah, you take I that have, one. Yep. 
I have five, so give me an additional five points. Here. And you have an additional four. Oof, I still have a long way to go to catching up to you. Oh, when I draw back up, I don't have a lot left. Uh huh. This is uh, my first chance to play three or more farmers, so you're in trouble. I know it. I can see it already. Two, three. Yipes. Okay. And I got another, and I am going to. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Go right here. Okay, well, that right there gives you three. One, two, three. It also lets you take a tile. What right. one do you want to do? Right, for surrounding this cigarette. So I will take that last one there for the farm. Yep. Farms. It's, it's scoring the city tiles, so when you score city tiles. Okay. Okay. And then I score for the city. Right, that's going to be pretty big there. That's two, four, six, eight, ten points. Okay. Cool. And I take it. And you score the cities now, so you're going to score six, seven, because yeah. you have that bonus there. So you the score bonus. seven for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. And you score two. That's right. I score five points. Here you go. <laughs> Give it to me One, down there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Well, darn, I don't think I can stop you here. And it doesn't gain me anything because I will be a tie. So I will take this one, this, claim this city here, which is actually only two tokens. In the yeah. whole game, I've been thinking it's four, or three oh. tokens, oh, and yeah. four to surround. So that was a dumb mistake. So I'll put a merchant there, and what the heck, I'll put a civil yeah. servant down there. So that will score me two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, mm -hmm. 18, 20, and that is it, right? Yeah. Okay. So. You're here. Yep. One, two, three, 13, 18, 20. Okay. Okay. And then we score cities for that. Mm-hmm. So I will get five points. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to get... Five plus two again, so that gives you seven. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, wait. I also score one more because I actually have that city tile as well. Right. Okay. Well, that ends the game. Okay. I have two tokens left. You have one. Yeah. Huh. Well, that was interesting. I wished I had realized this was three spaces around mm -hmm. it and not four earlier because I've been waiting a whole bunch of time for that, like <laughs> hoping you would come up there and... You didn't, which... It's surprising it is in a space, because there is enough land right there and to put another hex there. It wouldn't have been exactly the same shape, yeah. but it wouldn't have been beneficial for you to place up here. You didn't have... There was no reason for you to do any of these cities. No. Other than no. scoring a few points. You needed to score your big ones that you had this connected network. I had really been working on trying to make this network grow, and I thought by chance I might be able to connect... I mean, you, you stopped me right here. Yeah. My goal was is to p potentially place here and here so that I would make that connection for that city down there. But placing those four farmers just stopped me in my tracks from doing sure. that. And I had hoped yeah. to do the same thing down here. Like the, the whole push was to try to get down there, but I was running out of tokens. Mm -hmm. And really, I didn't want to spend any nobles in water spaces. I only did them here because they were farmers. Um, you do run through the clan tokens faster than, than you, you think. think. Well, especially, you know, if you can place all of your farmers, right? Yeah. That's, uh, I never really had that opportunity. I did place three several times. But yeah, the neat thing was you were able to do that four at the very end. So that you scored your biggest score that you had potentially. It's a downer that we didn't have, like, you know, not having the doubles. I, I, don't, I didn't really realize the impact of the doubles oh, until yeah. you have these giant networks sure. together. Because we had actually played this on the live stream. Um, and we, we did exactly the same type of game. We both ended up similarly north, you know, yeah. on each side of the map here without too much intermingling. Um, this was kind of interesting here because you took that mm -hmm. five-point farm. Well, I needed... I, um, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, five points one, two, is three, five four, points. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points difference there. Okay. I mean, had I scored this, yeah, then we would have probably caught up, right? It would have been one, two, four, six, eight, ten, mm -hmm. plus 
another scoring of cities sure. that would have given me seven, but I couldn't do it. I mean, I needed to I needed to finish the one that was going to score me the most. I still have the tokens. I actually I placed one here, but I had right. another one of those civil servants that could have gone there. Right. Well, being able to get this additional, um, I think that was the best choice was because good. you only had. I was thinking you were going to take this, and I could have. Right, but you were only going to place one more tile, and yeah. all it would have done was let you select this. You'd yeah. already taken the 10 point one earlier, yeah. right? That's yeah. the only one that's going to benefit you at the very end of the game. Right, right. And I never got one. I mean, I thought that I, I was hoping to get the, the this one here, but this placement here stopped me, yeah. right? Because then I couldn't, had you not placed here, I could have done two here and then yeah. placed my other two. So I would have scored the ziggurat. And then had a full other turn with this, right? That's, I wanted to break Although that. Although it wouldn't have been, I don't think I still would have up. caught up with you though. Because all I was going to score was an, another two points. And then finishing this would have been exactly the same finish. Mm. Well, what do you think of this, Nick? I like this game. Um, we've played it a few times. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I, I just, I have a lot of fun with... Um, figuring out the different ways you can you can do this like we didn't in a previous game do much mixing i was trying to do a little more mixing this game um but still as I you never can see on down the board here. i kept thinking i was going to get down there and i had a <laughs> yeah. whole bunch as you see here i i think that was that big streak there that i had used not all at once obviously but over time and i thought oh well i'll be able to connect i'll have a huge amount of stars it doesn't matter as long as you connect the network and everything work uh, is connected yeah. you're going to score them no matter where they're yeah. at so my focus mainly was um to do the ziggurats this game um i because i wanted to see how many of these bonus uh tiles i could, could manage get, to yeah. get because there well, are you did this all by yourself yeah. once again i should have been down there too i just didn't see the need i was I was busy thinking of this network, right? Mm -hmm. So, which is a good thing. And this is your network here as well, right? Maybe if I'd taken this ziggurat earlier on, mm -hmm. it would have given me one of these. Because this seven, I think, is... we I used it once in a previous game. And yeah, I, you did. I think it was pretty good having it. And knowing that you can use as many farmers as you have available. Yeah. I mean, I, when we played yeah. that, I did not know that. Right, I, right. I, I, missed, I thought I missed, it was I mistook the rule, and three. I thought it was three. Exactly. So, it, And I think I had, at one point when I had that seven, I think I had six farmers. Wow. That would be a major power play, right, okay. to be able to play six farmers. Yeah. Um, and I think that, you know, that's going to accelerate the game, too, right? Like, being able to play. You don't have the influence of having uh, noble tiles, but you have the clan tokens that let you make a big move, like that one. I mean, that was actually a pretty big move. It stopped me in two places. It stopped me here and stopped me connecting down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know that, you know, I only had four tokens at the end of the game. And I was like, the whole time, every t when it was down here, because when you did this wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like, well, shoot, I'm not going to make that. Um, and, you know, I would have needed to place a farmer here. And I, I only have one farmer left. And I don't think it was in my hand at that point in time, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. What, what tiles did you have? I actually had a, a merchant and a farmer. Oh, uh, okay. I had another, I had a priest, priest? Okay. which there yeah. was nothing. Right. Again, that's the thing. It's so, Once they're gone, then they become as effective as farmers and you can yeah. flip them down, right? I, I sure. Didn't, I was still in the game with, uh, in the mix with all the ones I had left, right? Yeah, majority and you know, I, all those, like I think I, I think I'd I got, already to. gotten all, yeah, I'd already gotten all my, um, uh, priests out, so it wouldn't have been any different for me already. Those had been scored for my. So yeah, you kind of. I wonder if that's a strategy where you kind of focus on certain areas if you have them, mm -hmm. and then they become kind of leftovers, right? They're, they're not. They're not necessarily scoring uh, as important because you're not going to score the points for them. Yeah, I'd have to see. I mean, I would really like to play this game with uh, more players, four players, three or four players, because Definitely. I think that the ziggurats would be different. I think it's a. Scoring more important. Opportunity. Exactly. I think you'll score more often. People will be angling to get these. One of us doing them is not easy, even with just four. Four is a lot of tiles, and six is tremendous. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of tiles for you to spend right there. Yeah, I want, when, when I was placing four ziggurats, I also wanted to be able to score for the cities, so I was trying to put... Yeah, oh, but that's know, a nice tight network down there. Yeah. I mean, you having that visible to you... I mean, you know what I'm saying? I You still focus where you, where you could see. Yeah. Ultimately, that's kind of where my issue is. I mean, I could see everything here, but uh, thankfully it's not text. If it was text, I'd have a hard time yeah. seeing it. Um, 
Yeah, so if we played with more players, there would be two more ziggurats out. Correct. We have, yeah, because we have these two more ziggurats. And, you know, obviously there's more places to place with that. Yeah. Then more you also, cities. Yeah, and we also had additional tiles here. There was this... There's one here that scores all three noble That's types. That's crazy. I know, but that would mean that... Everybody would be fighting vying for, for that. that. Exactly. <laughs> they want to make sure that they get in on that scoring. And I think your networks are going to be smaller, right? Mm -hmm. You have a much bigger board. So you're going to be, you're still going to be focusing on an area of the board, but other yeah. people will be focusing on their sure. area as well. So things will fill up. And I, again, ziggurats kind of force you to move into other areas if you want to score mm -hmm. them, right? You want to at least, at least play one there to be able to score points for that. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's tough. Yeah. And then we have, you know, more of the same type of tokens. Plus, we also have more farms similar to what we already have. There's another seven, six, and five point score, plus four more farms that score cities. So those are, you know, those are powerful too. Those are only scoring for you, which is really oh, huge, okay. right? Yeah. These two ziggurat tiles are pretty interesting because they help connect the mass, the land masses. So if you claim this one from now on, any empty spaces count as connecting your clans. Now somebody could block you okay. by placing a tile in the river really? and prevent you from making that connection. You'd have to move around it, but that's pretty amazing. So both, all three land masses will be connected. And then you have this one where you still need to be in the water, but the land mass, all the empty spaces count as connecting your clans. So that would be very important in a multi, I think in a much hmm. larger, uh, in a larger player count because then you can connect these land masses yeah with small amounts of stuff so if it was the rivers you could go here and then place a few tiles in here <laughs> to connect and then connect over to here yeah um the other weird thing i think i mean i think the art is beautiful on this board mm -hmm. but the weird thing is the 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 land masses right like missing this and then the yeah. water when we played the uh on the live stream i believe we thought that this was yes. water and it's actually land. So that counts as part of the area that you need to have tiles, uh, cl uh, clan tokens on to be able to claim that. Right. And you know, it's thankfully actually somebody mentioned it in our comments when we were playing, but it's, 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 crazy. Diffi it's difficult to see that because there's another one right here that you I don't know. necessarily Well, know. it doesn't have the water I know, icon of course, on it, but it's silly. Clearly, but, but it looks watery. So I it mean, does you know. look watery, but, but just look, look for the wavy Same thing lines. Here. Yeah, yeah. So this <laughs> must be like marshlands or something. Well, it yeah. is fertile. This is the fertile delta. Going back to the number of players, I am enjoying playing this two-player. I think it's really, it's a really good two-player. It scales down very well. Um, we were definitely fighting each other. Um, so yes, I do want to play it with a bigger crowd, but I, I am enjoying playing it two-player. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think it's, it's, it has the neat tug-of-war element that you, you know, like I, I, I was stressed. I was stressed. You know, you, I, I wanted to try to place down here. I wanted to place down here. I wanted to do this too. I never got to do that. It was right. not. It, it was not easy for me to do. And another thing is, I think that in a four-player game, uh, you would be getting these more. More of the players would be right, and they they would probably come out earlier and be right. important because, like this one here, to place three different nobles is great. Yeah. And this one here, where you place three farmers and then an additional noble. Yeah. Because then you you get to place. You get the power of placing more farmers and the additional bonus right. of actually being able to play a noble in that turn. This is also pretty exciting here, too, where you can just jump in and claim, mm -hmm. like, these tokens. Sure. You know? Yeah. And, but the seven, now I know in a previous, in the live stream, you got the seven, but it seems to me that most of the time, if it's a two-player, that seven isn't going to be as important because you're not getting well, again, it early enough had, in the game what if you had six farmers right again yeah. that could be huge it could be really huge yeah i guess but i'm thinking more of like your stacks of clan tokens um being by the time you surround in a two-player that maybe isn't as important because you well, don't have so many tokens if you had seven you would be making you'd potentially be making more plays than the other players mm-hmm um i think even in the two-player game right but okay. i mean i think you can make more plays than others and score more points. I mean, I think that's probably a super powerful one, um, knowing what we know now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, Nick. Yeah. Thank you, Lincoln, for teaching the game. Absolutely. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you'll get notified when we put up new videos. See you next time. Bye.